Just nine nights away before SummerSlam, and tonight at OKC, we have a massive main event on deck as the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Austin Theory battles an old rival in the rated R Superstar Edge later tonight here on SmackDown. We are live from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, just nine nights away before our trip to Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California at SummerSlam. A night where the man with the championship around his waist will defend against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes in a rematch nearly two months in the making. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Gunter! And of course, the rematch that we are discussing is the matchup between the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and the ring General Gunther. One on one for the United States Championship on the 20th of August, just nine nights away at SummerSlam. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time next Sunday night for the biggest party yet, which again will feature a rematch nearly two months in the making as the number one contender of the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks to try his hand again at defeating the undefeated ring general Guther and taking away the red, white, blue, and gold that is around his waist. Super Smackdown at Washington DC back in June saw the first meeting and it certainly was an instant classic that we were not going to forget anytime soon but Cody Rhodes has worked his way back up to the front of the line, has fought through any and all challenges, became number one contender but will he have enough in the tank to take down the undefeated champion at SummerSlam? And here comes a man making his return to action here tonight in OKC. And his opponent, from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis back in action tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. This man's got a bone to pick when it comes to the United States Championship. Remember back in April, Dexter Loomis was set to compete in the finals of the United States Championship Eliminator Tournament, but unfortunately was knocked out of those finals with an undisclosed injury. Dexter Loomis back tonight and a huge matchup on hand. Dexter going right to the top, challenging Guther one on one and the United States Championship may not be on the line, but if Dexter Loomis can do the unthinkable tonight and can topple the ring general, well you gotta believe Dexter's gonna be first in line for whoever leaves Levi Stadium in nine nights as the United States Heavyweight Champion of SmackDown. Big time matchup to kick things off here in OKC on a night that will feature a meeting between the rated R superstar Edge and the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship as well as the 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory. Two men, no strangers to each other. will be locking horns yet again later tonight here on the Blue Brand. But here we go as we inch closer and closer to the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, kicking things off with Guther and Dexter Loomis tonight on SmackDown. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser in tow, Imperium all intact tonight. And the United States Champion looking to do what he has done best here on SmackDown. And that has beat up the opponent and walked away with the victory. Undefeated since Imperium joined Friday Night SmackDown back in November. Just some of the names that Guther has defeated over all these months include Tyler Bate, Bobby Lashley, Rey Mysterio, Wesley, AJ Styles, of course the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes as well. Has Cody gone back and watched that match from Super Smackdown, found his Guther's weaknesses if you will, recognized his own mistakes and does he have the game plan to defeat Guther in nine nights? That is the question that we will determine at SummerSlam. Right now Guther all over the returning Dexter Loomis looking for an early victory here but Dexter been on the shelf for a few months. I'm sure is fired up tonight to try to get a victory upon his return. Gotta wonder if there's any ring rust on Dexter Loomis. And if there is, Guther is certainly exposing it right now. The United States Champion looking to make an example out of his opponent tonight. And send a message to the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody just last week with a victory over Chad Gable. 
And remember how he became the number one contender for the United States Championship, outlasting Bobby Roode, Mustafa Ali, Dolph Ziggler, and Braun Breaker in a five-man elimination matchup a number of weeks ago. Dexter Loomis trying to get back into this matchup here. Dexter's got to recognize the opportunity at hand tonight. The unhinged and certainly unusual Dexter with a chance to put himself to the front of the line when it comes to the United States Championship. Great combination of maneuvers there. The ring general down and out. Just because Dexter's, I should say, just because Gunther's down does not mean he is out, but Dexter's looking to put him out for good. Straight jacket almost maneuver locked in. Submission hold dead center of the ring. A little bit early on in the contest, though. Gunther known to go the distance. Especially with his toughest competitors, it's certainly not going to be an easy task for anyone to defeat, especially Dexter Loomis. Dexter's got him in a predicament, though. Got to believe now or never is the time to capitalize with the ring general back in action in a matter of a snap of the fingers and a nice suplex there. Gunther, the last time he defended that United States Championship was at last month's Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Of course, in a Valiant effort against Rey Mysterio. Luther continuing his undefeated streak there, looking to continue it tonight. Waltz in the SummerSlam with a perfect record. Nine nights from Levi Stadium. Dexter showed some signs of life with the ring general. Such a confusing puzzle to try to figure out from bell to bell, as he is unloading on Dexter Loomis right now. If there is any ring rust, it's certainly not playing in to Dexter right now. Is Gunther going for the chokehold, dead center of the ring. And we are a little bit early on in this contest. I don't know if Dexter, he might still have some breath left in those lungs to battle out of this. Gunther's got it locked in, but the strange and unusual competitor. Oh, look at this, into the pinfall. Trying to sneak a victory over the United States champion, and he almost had him, not just yet. There's a slick counter by Dexter Loomis there, but Gunther gonna make him pay. There's the German suplex. The ring general keeps his receipts. Dexter's first match back in months tonight. And so far, even though he's shown some signs of life here and there, it is not going his way. Gunther could be on the verge of a count out victory here if Dexter's not get to his feet. Well, there he goes. Gotta get back inside the squared circle, however. Gunther knows that Cody Rhodes is watching this matchup. He's looking to send a message to the American Nightmare tonight. Undefeated already. Will he remain undefeated is the question. Well, Dexter back inside the ring going for another submission hold. Pivot on to Conda Vice submission. And will Gunther be on the verge of tapping out here? The ring general almost suffering his first loss, but Dexter Loomis not able to withstand those knees of the United States champion. Power bomb stacks him up with it. And you could probably count all the way to Levi Stadium. Another emphatic statement made by the ring general, Gunther. Undefeated, absolutely indestructible, and certainly intimidating is the United States heavyweight champion. Here is your winner, Gunther! Imperium stands tall yet again, but will Gunther be walking out of Levi Stadium with his hand raised high and the gold still around his waist? We will find out in nine nights when Gunther defends the red, white, blue strap against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes at the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe at 205 pounds and under gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight-week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August.
Cruiserweight Classic kicks off in just eight nights in the Manhattan, New York region in Hammerstein Ballroom. And there's a look at the 16-man bracket and the first round matches that'll kick off the Cruiserweight Classic next Saturday afternoon are about to be revealed. First up, Akira Tozawa set to go one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. What a matchup that's gonna be to kick off this monumental tournament. And then also taking place next Saturday, it's the father versus son meeting. Dominic, Ray, the Mysterio family meets in the first round of the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic next Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time, live in New York City. We are back live in OKC, and we are set for some women's division action. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell back by each other's side in recent months here on SmackDown. And Candice looking to build some much-needed momentum for the way here in the blue brand. But she has certainly got her hands full with a woman who has really donned a new attitude as of late. The ballsy badass Shotzi, a take-no-prisoners mentality, and that is even in regards to Candice LeRae. Well, Shotzi really turned over a new leaf, as we mentioned a number of weeks ago when she ambushed her now former tag team partner in the EST, Bianca Belair. We have since seen Shotzi in action, one-on-one -on -one with Aaliyah, just a number of weeks ago. And my goodness, was Shotzi ever so dominating in that contest. We saw the new attitude just oozing out of Shotzi on that night. A newfound aggression, if you will, that certainly led to her victory and her getting her hand raised and Shotzi looking to do it yet again here on SmackDown. A couple of interesting notes to make is of course the last time we saw Shotzi and Kim Saray inside the same ring was back at WrestleMania when Shotzi as well as Bianca Belair dethroned Candice Saray and Indy Hartwell for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Obviously Shotzi and Bianca's Belair relationship going to absolute hell in recent weeks. And Shotzi, we really haven't gotten much of an explanation out of her, but we've really put two and two together that at the end of the day, that was a relationship forged on respect. And once they lost those women's tag team championships, well, Shotzi may be looking at Bianca Belair as almost holding her back. Shotzi won the women's championship last year at SummerSlam, and it unfortunately didn't last too long, but the ballsy badass looking to carve her own path here on Friday Night SmackDown. That does not include having Bianca Belair by her side. Nonetheless, we are set for action as Candice Array looking to build some momentum regardless of Shotzi's newfound aggression or not. Candice, remember, returned for the first time since WrestleMania. Back in June, she went one-on-one -on -one with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, and an awesome main event for the WWE Women's Championship. Came up short on that night, I'll bite by countout. Definitely need Candice Array. Running it back with Shayna Baszler, championship or not in the near future. Look at Candice go! Springboard reverse Rana. She is coming out of the gates early. Full speed ahead. Not enough to keep Shotzi down, but Candice LeRae wants this victory and wants it bad. World traveled veteran is Candice LeRae. She's held championships from coast to coast. She wants to do it yet again here in WWE. Shotzi could be one of the women standing in Candice LeRae's way tonight. Again, looking to build that much needed momentum on SmackDown. Speaking of Shayna Baszler, remember coming up at SummerSlam in nine nights, she will be defending her women's championship against Monday Night Raw's Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Gotta believe whoever walks out of that match as champion, Shotzi, maybe Candice LeRae, two women that could be eyeing up the champion for a future shot at the gold, all remains to be seen. And now Shotzi, much needed. Full head of steam for her, trying to get back into this matchup as Candice LeRae has really controlled the early going. But the ballsy badass has not done this new attitude just to fall to a Joe Schmo, if you will. Shotzi just running through the offense there. Goes for the kick, Candice LeRae. Over to duck it, but Shotzi is just unloading. This is the aggression that we saw out of Shotzi a few weeks ago against Aaliyah. Just absolutely unloaded. And it led her to victory on that night. Doing the same to Candice LeRae. And now look at this maneuver. Slice bread into the cover. And Shotzi picks up yet another victory. Momentum is on the side of the Ballsy Badass. First Aaliyah, now Candice LeRae. 
Shotzi's got to be feeling very good about her decision to cut ties with the EST. That's for damn sure. Here's your winner, Shotzi. Well, the one thing we got to mention is eventually Bianca Belair is going to muster up the will to return to Friday Night SmackDown. And when she does, Shotzi's got a target on her back. When those two will meet, all remains to be seen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to some recent history between the blue chipper of SmackDown, that being Braun Breaker, and the show-off Dolph Ziggler. These two men already had a lot of history heading into some recent battles here on Friday nights. Remember the battles back in NXT over the NXT Championship, but these two men locked horns not on not one but two occasions back in May, but then they met for almost a trilogy here on SmackDown back in the King of the Ring tournament. And as you saw, Dolph Ziggler knocking out Braun Breaker in the first round back at the end of May, and Braun Breaker has not forgotten about that. He's been calling out Ziggler for months, wanting to settle this issue once and for all. Ziggler, however, not afraid to back down from the challenge, so it has officially been signed for next week. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time with a special live edition of Friday Night SmackDown, and it'll be contested inside a solid steel cage. Dolph Ziggler, Braun Breaker, grudge match once and for all next week on SmackDown. Before their tag team battle at SummerSlam, the Prince Finn Balor set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Machine Gun, Carl Anderson. The World Tag Team Championships will be on the line at Levi Stadium, but momentum is on the line seven nights from this evening. And what a matchup sign for next week on SmackDown as well. It is a dream team of the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre and the number one contender for the United States title, Cody Rhodes, as they go 2v2 against Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci of Imperium. What a matchup next week on SmackDown. And it's all a part of SummerSlam week, a week of live premieres, Raw, SmackDown, SummerSlam coming your way at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And then don't miss the kickoff to the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament next Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time. SummerSlam week all begins this Monday night in Las Vegas on Raw. We are back inside OKC, and we are set for some Cruiserweight action ahead of next week's Cruiserweight Classic. Of course, Santos Escobar, the leader of Legado del Fantasma, your current Cruiserweight Champion of the World. But tonight, an opportunity for Joaquin Wilde of that trio, is he, as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Alpha Academy's Master Gable. Chad Gable looking to build some momentum in the Cruiserweight division. And his opponent, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Well, very interesting matchup here. Joaquin Wilde, Cruz del Toro, not participating in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and neither is Chad Gable. He is a man who has really teetered the line of really participating at all in the Cruiserweight division, but Chad Gable's had his opportunity in the past to become Cruiserweight Champion. Obviously fell short, and Chad Gable, a man who has taken some of the best of them to their limits here on Friday Night SmackDown. In recent months, went one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre just last week, so toe-to-toe -to -toe with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. But tonight, Chad Gable, we're gonna focus on a new path here on Friday nights, and that could possibly lead him down a championship opportunity against Santos Escobar in the near future. And tonight, Gable got his hands full with Joaquin Wilde, but possibly one of the most undervalued superstars in the Cruiserweight division. Is the man on the left, but here we go, kicking things off in this Cruiserweight matchup between Joaquin Wilde and Chad Gable. And again, the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, 16 men will participate over the next eight weeks starting next Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Every Saturday afternoon will be live premiere events every single week. Emanating from Manhattan, New York, the Hammerstein Ballroom. The winner not only will get the right of being called the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic winner, will also earn themselves a future opportunity at the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, regardless of who is the champion by the time that tournament wraps in eight weeks. Not wait to kick off the tournament next week in New York, but right now, Joaquin Wilde and Chad Gable tearing it up here on SmackDown. They're gonna make some names for themselves in the Cruiserweight division. 
Got to look at Joaquin Wild and Cruz del Toro. You know, again, they're not participating in the tournament. Santos Escobar, the third man in that trio of Legado del Fantasma, currently the Cruiserweight champion. Got to wonder if Joaquin Wild and Cruz del Toro are feeling some type of way, not participating in that tournament and really not having their opportunity to possibly get a shot at their leader for the Cruiserweight title. Could be something, could be nothing, remains to be seen, but Chad Gable taken to the outside by Joaquin Wild here. He's also held championships around the globe, and look at this, springboard, cross body to the outside. Didn't get all of it, but got enough of it, and down goes Master Gable. As we mentioned, Chad Gable stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best of them. But maybe Joaquin Wilde, the man hungry for opportunity here on SmackDown, is going to get the best of Gable tonight. All well, remains to be seen. Still to come in your main event. The rated R superstar Edge, who's got a matchup with Randy Orton coming up at SummerSlam. Set to go one-on-one. -on -one with the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. The man that will battle Drew McIntyre in nine nights, Austin Theory. Massive main event coming up in moments here in Oklahoma City as Chad Gable starting to get going. Starting to rally OKC behind him. And the ropes goes wild. Gable underneath with the Nelson suplex. Full Nelson suplex. Belly to belly here. And Joaquin Wild is feeling the strength of Gable firsthand. Gable, such a all around athlete inside of that ring. The mat technician, some submissions in the arsenal. He's got the strength to beat you, got the agility to beat you. Gable, bound to be a breakout star here on Friday Night SmackDown. Two suplexes in a row could be going for the trio here. Down goes Wild. Gable into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet, Wild able to pop the shoulder off the canvas, but a close call for Chad Gable. Lucky Wild going to the outside, but he better realize he's in Alpha Academy territory. The big man Otis staring down the fresh meat. And Chad Gable, I don't know if he's trying to endear this audience or absolutely disdain them, but nonetheless, Joaquin Wild back into it, back inside the squared circle. And Gable on his tail. Santos Escobar not out here tonight, but I'm sure he's got his eyes locked on this matchup. Possibly looking at Chad Gable and thinking the same thing we're thinking. Maybe Gable's looking at this match tonight as an opportunity to become number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship in the near future. Well, remains to be seen, but Wild in trouble. A little bit of a chaos theory from Chad Gable. And that's going to be a wrap. Take it home. Chad Gable's leaving with the victory. Physical contest there between these two Cruiserweight athletes, but in the end, the all-around superstar and Alpha Academy's Master Gable. Little chaos theory. Little one, two, three. Little victory here in OKC. Here is your winner, Chad Gable. Big time victory for Chad Gable tonight, and dare I say a much needed one for Alpha Academy. What is going to be next for this duo, and more specifically for Chad Gable? It is the biggest party of the summer, and it comes your way nine nights from this evening in Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California, 5 p.m. Eastern Time for SummerSlam. And what a matchup coming your way. World Tag Team title set to be defended between SmackDown's number one contenders, the original club, challenging Raw's Judgment Day. The gold's on the line. A lot of history between these two duos. Who's leaving Levi Stadium as tag team champions? Intercontinental Championship on the line as well. Cedric Alexander earning the right to call himself the challenger. Will he be able to take down L.A. Knight? Gunther continuing his undefeated streak earlier on this evening, but will the American Nightmare be able to crack the code of the ring general? Cody versus Gunther, two for the United States Championship. The A-list superstar from Monday Night Raw, The Miz, been on quite, quite the losing streak as of late. But earlier this week, issuing an open challenge. Who's going to accept that challenge? Stand across from the Miz at SummerSlam. It's being called the money fight in the women's division. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, one-on-one -on -one for the prestigious WWE Women's Championship. 
Anything goes, no count outs, no disqualifications, and absolutely no holds barred. The prize fighter Kevin Owens, the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar, they've been going at it for months, something's gotta give. Nine nights from tonight. The man who will participate in our main event in moments, the rated R superstar Edge, has been forever entangled in a long rivalry with the Apex Predator Randy Orton. They write the next chapter of their story at SummerSlam. SummerSlam will continue with the Monday Night Raw main event, Fatal 4-Way for the WWE Championship, Karrion Cross, John Cena, Bobby Lashley, Matt Riddle, who will outlast the others and be the last man standing with the gold. In SmackDown's main event, the 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, looks to topple the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre, for the World Heavyweight Championship. All of that coming your way in nine nights in Levi Stadium, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the biggest party yet, SummerSlam. But as for tonight in OKC, it is main event time, and the King of the Ring winner has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! Austin Theory is in a very interesting situation tonight. A man who needs all the momentum he can get leading up to this matchup with Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam, and obviously a lot of momentum on the side of Austin Theory. A few weeks ago, a victory over the one and only Ricochet, and of course, the thing that got Theory in the position in the first place Winning the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament back in May and June, but Austin Theory tonight is facing a man he has never defeated, the Rated R Superstar Edge, a man who took away Austin Theory's short-lived reign as WWE Champion last September. History between these two men, and it continues to be written here tonight in SmackDown. Austin Theory better remain focused and better give this thing his best go because Edge has got a big time matchup himself coming up at SummerSlam and he's not looking to see his momentum derailed by the King of the Ring upstart. Edge looks fired up as always, ready to get his hands on Randy Orton, but first, looking to settle the score with the man from A-Town, Austin Theory. We talked about it a few moments ago, Edge and Randy Orton, seemingly a story that is being written time after time again. A fight forever situation between the Rated R Superstar and the Viper of WWE. And quite frankly, I don't think Edge is necessarily complaining that the issues will never be settled with Randy Orton. And the last time they met on a grand stage was back at Survivor Series in November. And Randy Orton defeated Edge on that night. Of course, Edge and Orton met one-on-one -on -one last month here on SmackDown. Edge got the victory, but it only really escalated the issues between the Rated R Superstar and the Viper. Something's got to give. Somebody's got to get the last laugh. We'll see if they can finally settle the score at SummerSlam. All remains to be seen, but right now, main event's underway. Austin Theory, Edge. First time they are going one-on-one -on -one since September the 10th of 2022. And Austin Theory's short-lived WWE Championship reign was derailed by the man in the white, the Rated R Superstar Edge. These two met in multiple tag team matches in recent months here on SmackDown. Edge on the victorious side of all of them. So just a little more fuel to the fire for Austin Theory. A man he's never been able to defeat an Edge. And seemingly... A big opportunity to gain momentum tonight, but Edge with the same mindset as he comes crashing over the top rope. A rated R superstar, even at this stage in his career, not scared to throw caution into the wind. This thing's breaking down here at ringside, and Edge taking out Theory. Edge is fired up tonight. He knows the caliber of the superstar he is in the ring with. He takes nothing away from Austin Theory. 
He knows the theory earned his right to become number one contender for the world title. He knows Drew McIntyre's gonna have his hands full at SummerSlam. He knows Theory's a tough kid, and Edge knows he's gonna give this matchup anything and everything. But Theory with the fall away slam on the outside. Oh, and Theory trying to book it towards the ring. Edge having none of it and sending Theory into the barricade. Now, Theory could be on the verge of getting counted out here. He is on Edge's tail. Oh, wait a minute. Backslide by Theory. Back inside the ring. Man, this match has been a mile a minute since the bell rang. I think both men also could be in the mindset of trying to get things done early tonight. So close to SummerSlam. Not looking to risk injury before their high-profile matches in Levi Stadium. All remains to be seen. What's going to happen? Nine nights from this evening, but Edge with the execution on Austin Theory. Edge does not get paid by the hour as he follows it up with the spear. And he's looking to take things home in the early going. And he almost had him. Almost had him. The number one contender for the World Heavyweight title. Oh, man, his momentum almost went up in smoke. Edge is hell-bent tonight. On victory, but a crash and burn. Maybe a little bit overzealous to get things done there. Theory making him pay for it. Theory with another fall away in the... This time inside of the squared circle. And Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton. Both of them got to have their eyes locked on this matchup. Trying to scout their opponents before SummerSlam. Especially Drew McIntyre, Austin Theory. The man who has been on a roll all summer long. Drew McIntyre, who has turned away any and all challengers. Seth Rollins, John Cena, Braun Breaker, Randy Orton, Edge himself. Drew McIntyre has been having a, a career, I don't want to say career resurgence, but certainly his best year in years here in the WWE. 2023 has been the year of the Scottish Warrior. And Austin Theory is looking to be the kryptonite to that world championship reign. Send an edge to the outside. You notice how Austin Theory has slowed the pace down of this matchup. Edge a mile a minute since the opening bell. Throwing everything at Austin Theory. Everything in the kitchen sink to keep down the young man. And Theory's trying to change the momentum of this contest in his favor. Edge down and out. Look at the strength by Austin Theory. The strength, the agility, the attitude. Just some of the credentials that have given Austin Theory the success he has had in his short, young, but certainly successful career. And Edge trying to get back into this. Edge and takes down Theory, but not for long. And Edge, so many tools of the trade in his arsenal. Crossface locked in, but again, Edge just may be a little overzealous tonight, not watching the ring awareness. And Theory saved by the ropes. And now Edge to the outside! Man! Who lit a fire under the ass of the Rated R Superstar? My goodness. Austin Theory is feeling the wrath of Edge tonight. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Edge is on his tail. On the outside here. Oh, my goodness. Not, not on the outside edge. Canadian Destroyer on the outside of the ring. Austin Theory. He may be out. Austin Theory may be knocked out cold. No waste in motion by the Rated R Superstar. Canadian Destroyer back in the corner. If Edge wins this, Theory's momentum is going up in smoke. A second spear. What a win by Edge. Well, this has become a very interesting situation because Austin Theory has not smelled defeat in one-on-one -on -one action for months. And nine nights before SummerSlam, Edge just obliterated him in OKC. Here's the Edge. There is something about Edge that Austin Theory cannot figure out. And so close to SummerSlam, I do not like that loss for the number one contender. On the flip side, the Rated R Superstar has got to be feeling good. He is red hot moving into Levi Stadium. No, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Randy Orton, what the hell? Randy Orton's at ringside. Edge has no idea. Orton's got a damn ladder inside of the ring. And he just took out Edge. Randy Orton up in the ante. Attack from behind. Momentum on the side of the Apex Predator.
A story that is being written time and time again writes its next chapter, Orton, Edge, Nine Nights at SummerSlam. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride.